We have the Vivo V30 with us today. Let us quickly review the specifications. It runs on the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 chipset. Maximum clock speeds of 2.63 gigahertz with 12 gigs of memory. I already went ahead and disabled virtual RAM, but it is an available option if that's what you need. Our unit here has 256 gigabytes of internal storage and this clearly runs on Android 14 with Font Touch OS version 14. Okay, let's set graphics to highest. Let's pump FPS all the way to 60 FPS. We are now overclocked. And so far, game is running pretty well on the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 powered. Vivo V30 and this isn't even the pro mode or the pro variant there is a Vivo V30 Pro that's also available running on even better system specifications but I'm already pretty impressed with the performance on the non-pro version as you can see it is very smooth and like we don't even have to demonstrate all the lower graphics settings because I'm completely satisfied with the gameplay experience on highest. Moving on to our next game, we have PUBG. Let's quickly review the graphics. Combat, Ultra HDR, Ultra Frame Rate, Lobby, and also Home. Then as far as gyroscope controls are concerned, it is supported of course. We already put it on Always On. And I can see from the performance on the home screen that it is quite smooth. Let's go ahead and play a game. And look at that responsiveness. Of the gyroscope wow 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 almost no lag while looking around uh, using the gyroscope all right so we're running around in game and you can see just how smooth and how responsive the game is and now we're getting shot at We're now at the matchup screen for Mobile Legends and you can see just how quickly we are able to change skins. We're now in game in Mobile Legends. Let's quickly review the graphics, super frame rate and ultra graphics are enabled. Let's go ahead and play. One of the cool things that come with Funtouch OS is this thing called Ultra Game Mode and you can access that by going to the settings and as you can see there is an eSports mode which basically optimizes the game so that it all the resources are focused on that game and then you have off-screen autoplay and other enhancements such as notification blocking, call muting and it's also gonna um, add a in-game menu which you can access by swiping from the screen and if your game is not listed just 
tap on the button right here and then look for your game. So in this case, we're going to add CarX Street and bam. By tapping on that icon, you can launch the game and from your game, you can swipe right from the left edge and that brings up the in-game panel. And as you can see, there are ways to like improve the overall gameplay experience. We're going to bring it up to boost mode right now. And then you have other options here, such as brightness locking. Then you can access screen recording screenshots. You can also turn on notification and call blocking as well as other cool stuff. Let's go ahead with our fourth and final game, which is Car Street. And I already set the graphics all the way to the highest limit. All right, so there is no in-game frame rate monitor on FunTouch OS, but based on feel, it is really smooth with game running on the highest graphics setting, and I can totally play Car X Street with everything turned on, which is really good news for anyone who is into like this graphically heavy game because you will be able to enjoy it in its full glory. So we've been gaming on the Vivo V30 for a while now and based on what I'm seeing, we're not even going past 40 degrees on the display panel as far as surface temperatures are concerned. Let's check the back panel. So here's that back panel, roughly around the same temperature, 40 degrees, not going any higher. Oh, okay. We did hit 41 degrees, 41.3. Okay, but still pretty much in control. And from here, you can see and appreciate that very nice design. Before we end, here are a few benchmark scores. Antutu 818K with temperature change of almost 4 degrees Celsius. In Passmark, we managed to score 10,588 points. And in PCMark, 14,000 points with average read speed of 542 megabytes per sec and write speeds of 474 megabytes per second all right so do you guys have any questions about the vivo v30 just drop them in the comment section and stay tuned for more on this phone check us out on youtube.com just search for tech Kuya. see you there